Hi guys, I just wanted to show you guys my hot mess of my pantry I have going on here. Who knows what has expired or how long it's been in there. Everything is just kind of just shoved in there. And these go back pretty deep. And I think that's a lot of the reason why everything kind of gets lost in the mix because they're, they're just kind of mixed back there. I forget about it. So we're gonna work on getting this organized. I went to the Dollar Tree, I have a whole bunch of bins. So hopefully we can change this from this craziness to something that's more organized that'll work better for me and my family. So if you would like to see how I can transform this hot mess of a pantry into something that's beautiful and nice, keep on watching and I will show you how. But you're trying to deny That we should be together It's heavy weather We're heading for tonight You better take what you can Cause the time is right now We only need the two of look at everything that was in the back of that that is disgusting <laughs> but it looks way better one down four more to go we got this come on we're getting our life organized we're getting rid of the messes the unnecessary stuff this has been broken for a year and it's been just sitting in the back of that for the past year life mom life we forget stuff this is just from one shelf of my pantry. Look at this. I probably haven't even eaten these Cheerios in months. All right, let's get back to it. I got these chalkboard labels from Hobby Lobby for $2.99 and I just used a chalkboard marker to write what was going to go in each basket. I did that beforehand just to save me a little time so I didn't spend too much time trying to decipher what I wanted to go into which basket. So that's why I just wrote the labels so that way I already knew. I had seven baskets total to work with and I did get these baskets from the Dollar Tree that I am placing everything in and these bottom cabinets. to myself now and then i'll try to laugh but i'll cry a bit as well i was never any good at being away from you i met you in the summer And here I'm just getting everything into the baskets. Anything that was in a box that I was able to take out of the box and condense, I did. It just gives it a better, cleaner, and organized look. And then now I'm just placing the labels on the baskets. These labels actually held on better than I expected. Since the basket had holes in them, I was a little worried that these labels weren't going to really grip too good, but they actually did. So I would say I don't think these are going to fall off, which is important to me since my kids will be going in here and grabbing stuff out as well. I don't need anything that's going to just fall off and defeat the whole purpose of me trying to organize it. I 
I literally filled this whole trash bag with empty boxes and just garbage and who knows what else that was lying in these cabinets. And this is a true pantry makeover. Look at this, everything is neat, it's organized, it's in the spot that it needs to be. If you have not went in your pantry and organized it, what are you waiting for? This video should have definitely motivated you. You've seen for yourself the dirt and grime that collects in your pantry when you're just buying stuff without being organized. I hope you guys got some great motivation out of this video so you can get up and go organize your pantry or just go organize anything else that might have became chaotic throughout life. Give this video a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, I would love to have you join my YouTube family. Turn on your bell notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you in my next video. You know it still hurts a little bit